Roads, The Arteries of the World, Pulsing, delivering goods and services to all corners of the country. Without roads, commerce is impossible. No food in markets, no medical or emergency services, no educational resources. The vast roadway system of the United States is what sets us apart as the supreme superpower of the world. Roads allow personal freedom of the individual to travel to any part of the country. Without travel, progress and commerce would come to a grinding halt. In 1945, America injected massive sums of money into the infrastructure of this country's highway system, producing a road network unlike anything anywhere else in the world. This allowed the average American to move about with freedom and to seek opportunity to better himself and his family. Even though America's economic powerhouse generates massive sums of money for infrastructure, this funding is not unlimited. In these difficult economic times, states, counties, and towns are strapped for cash. Roadways are often the last to be funded because of the expense. Engineers across the nation are always seeking new, less expensive ways to build roads. What if we could build a road using only the natural resources that exist in the very place where the road is to be built? What if it could be done in half the time, with less manpower and equipment, while at the same time lowering the overall environmental impact? What if you could take a road sub-base and do to it what takes nature thousands of years to do? To make soil as hard as rock. To find out, we brought in some leading pioneers of road construction using a product that is revolutionary in the field. The challenges of sub-base construction are no match for this group. Meet the Natural Crete team. These guys are renegades in the field of road construction. And the man behind it all? Bobby Smith Jr. This man knows roads. And with over 30 years of construction experience, who else to find a better, less expensive way to build roads? So he began here, with his development at Legacy Springs. The first project in Alabama using natural crete began in Odenville, Alabama, on a rainy morning, June 2nd, 2014. After a night of heavy rain and the ground saturated, most road builders would have called it a day at this point, but not these guys. We had a lot of rain the night before. Usually you don't want to build a road under those wet conditions, but I had a lot of confidence in Natural Crete and the team, so it made the easy decision to go ahead and build the road. But we finally got in, the milling machine came in, just chewed the soil up. The milling machine actually is the best, best machine because it chews that clay up so fine, you know, and the Natural Crete is able to get into the clay fine so easy. There. Meanwhile, Omer poured the Natural Creek concentration into the water truck. It may seem counterintuitive to put more water on a road that's already saturated, but these guys didn't blink an eye. So the water truck rolled out and sprayed the natural creek all before lunch. Once we uh, laid down uh, soil and started compacting it, we see, uh, we see natural creek and uh, started to activate uh, automatically with even muddy soil. The soil was turned by the grader to mix in the natural crete solution, after which the compaction began. And by lunchtime the very same day, the surface had tightened enough that large, heavy vehicles were able to drive over it without denting the surface. Inside of an hour, uh, a large rock truck was driving over it and it was not pumping the dirt at all. I mean, it was made for an incredible base and I stopped by there a few minutes ago and here a couple of days later it was even, even even harder and a better surface. I mean, it was just incredible. So we closed out the first day with a compacted road and began to prepare for testing the following day. The next day, Tuesday, June 3rd, the testing gear arrived. Initial tests show compaction ranges between 101 and 112 percent, which is above approved compaction levels. Had the grade been cut and the gutters in, we could have paved it that day, but the guys at Natural Creek recommend a 72-hour curing time, but it was hard enough even after 24 hours. 
On Wednesday, June 4th, more grading was done to get the road ready for curb and gutter, which went in that day. The road had begun to harden, which made the grading difficult. Again, the site was tested. The latest geotech results that I saw on the compaction test ranged from 101 to 108 percent. This was on day two of the product being laid, which exceeds all our requirements of 98 percent for road compaction. On Thursday, June 5th, the curb was in. During final grading, we noticed that the grader had a really hard time. It was almost like scraping the top of a rock. And after the compaction tests were done that day, we see why. Readings showed that in many places tested, the compaction was at 117%. Getting 100% compaction is hard enough using our grit stone, even in the best conditions. Here we was able to get 117% compaction in wet conditions using our existing soil. We cut nothing out and our entire site is clay fill. It's amazing to me that you can take existing soil and turn it into something as hard as a rock. The morning of Friday, June 6th, 2014, the asphalt crew came in and after only five days, the project was completed and the ribbon cut. Natural Crete had once again done its job in making one of the most economical, environmentally sound, and durable road subsurface treatments on the market. But don't take our word for it. Just listen to these guys. I certainly plan on using it in a subdivision that I have and on uh, future projects that I'm involved with, uh, whether it be for building pads or for um, uh, roads or whatever. I mean, and, uh, erosion control, you name it. I've, I'm incredibly impressed with it. I was skeptical when Bobby first approached me with Natural Creek. After seeing the results, I believe it's a great product. Our city will be implementing this into our road building and maintenance programs. Though there are other soil stabilization enzymes on the market, none of them have the ability to be customized to a particular soil. Natural Crete does. In fact, Natural Crete can stabilize 90% of the soils around the world. Uh, we have a very unique product. Uh, it's a product uh, that is going to revolutionize the way uh, people are constructing. Uh, it's a totally natural product based on the enzymes. It uh, saves 40 to 50 percent versus traditional road building, brick building. There's a number of different uses. What Natural Creed does is use the indigenous soil and treat the soil so that it serves the purpose of aggregate and in fact is stronger and lasts longer and it has more pliability and it's quicker because you don't have to transport materials and, and then I have to deal with it and use the indigenous soil treated with our product which is all natural and within 72 hours you've got a sub base that's so strong that lasts 20 plus years and you cover it the same way as you do the traditional road so driving by a natural creed road or a traditional uh, build, you won't see any difference at all. I'm extremely happy with the project we have here at Legacy Springs. After we put the natural creed on the soil, it far exceeded the compaction test requirements. We put asphalt on the road Friday, and it was a great day. We had the ribbon cut. But I know there may be a lot of doubters out there so if you're from Missouri, just come on over to Legacy Springs site and we'll be glad to show you. Harder subsurface, faster application, longer lasting, environmentally friendly and more economical. Using natural resources to create a rock solid base. Natural Crete is a revolution paving the way for more and better roads around the country and throughout the world.